and animals are seen all around us in different surroundings. They survive on land, in the sea, even in the air. They are found in mountains, forests, deserts, polar areas, oceans, seas, rivers, etc. The natural home or environment of an animal is called its habitat. The changes or modifications in the bodies of plants or animals to suit their immediate surroundings are collectively called adaptation. The animal's body structure, its food habits, nesting habits and movement are a part of its adaptation to its immediate environment. Classification of animals on the basis of their feeding habits Like all living beings, animals too need food to get energy, to grow and survive. Animals can be classified on the basis of their feeding habits as Herbivorous animals or herbivores are the animals that eat only plants. Carnivorous animals or carnivores are the animals that eat only the flesh of other animals. Omnivores are the animals that eat both plants and animals. Scavengers are the flesh-eating animals that feed on dead animals. Parasites are some small animals that get their food from other living organisms. Herbivores Animals that feed on plants are called herbivorous animals or herbivores. They have sharp front teeth called incisors for biting and cutting and very strong broad teeth called molars to grind the food. Horses, cows, elephants, deer, goats, giraffes are some herbivorous animals. Elephant, the largest herbivore, spends about 18 hours a day eating grass. Herbivorous birds eat plants and their parts like seeds, nectar and fruits. Birds that eat nuts and seeds have short and strong beaks, almost resembling a nutcracker. Carnivores Animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivorous animals or carnivores. These have very sharp teeth called canines that help in tearing the flesh of its prey as well as strong grinding teeth. Lions and tigers are some carnivorous animals while eagles, hawks, kites and kingfishers are some carnivorous birds. Their sharp curved claws help them catch and hold their prey firmly. They also have a curved hook-like strong beak which helps them tear the prey into small pieces. Carnivorous amphibians like frogs and toads feed on spiders, moths, dragonflies and many other insects. Their sharp eyesight and long elastic tongue helps them to catch their prey even from a distance. Omnivores Animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivorous animals or omnivores. Crows, bears, human beings and foxes 
are some omnivores. Omnivores have well-developed incisors and molars to eat both types of food. Scavengers These are animals that feed on the flesh of dead animals. Vulture, hyenas are some scavengers. Rodents Many rodents, like rats, are able to eat almost anything. They have sharp incisors to nibble and molars for knowing parasites. Some small animals get their food from other living organisms. They may live on or inside the body of their host. Fleas and lice live on the host body while tapeworm, roundworm and hookworm live inside it. Animal groups based on organs of breathing. All living organisms inhale or breathe in oxygen and exhale or breathe out carbon dioxide. Reptiles, birds and mammals breathe with the help of lungs. However, they have different organs for breathing. Breathing in mammals Mammals, including human beings, breathe air through their lungs. Air is taken in through the nose and mouth and down the airway, that is, the trachea or windpipe into the lungs. The carbon dioxide is then thrown out of the lungs and exhaled through the mouth or nose. Breathing in aquatic animals Did you know that fish breathe in oxygen too? They depend on their breathing organ, the gills, to inhale the oxygen present in the water. The fish takes water into its mouth and forces it out through its gills. As the water passes out through the thin walls of the gills, the dissolved oxygen in it enters its bloodstream. There are, however, exceptions like whales and dolphins they breathe in the oxygen present in the air through their lungs. They do this by coming up to the water surface. Breathing in insects Insects such as cockroaches and grasshoppers have very small openings on their bodies called spiracles through which they inhale and exhale air. The spiracles open into a network of air tubes inside the body called trachea, which carry oxygen in the inhaled air to every part of the body. Breathing in worms, earthworms have a wet or moist skin which helps in breathing. They take in oxygen through this moist skin and it goes directly into their bloodstream. That is why earthworms are generally seen in wet mud during the monsoons. Breathing in amphibians, frogs and toads live on land as well as in water. They breathe through skin when in water and through their lungs when on land. Movement in animals Movement in animals is also called locomotion. Animals move from place to place for various reasons. In search of water, food and shelter. To protect themselves and their young ones during difficult climatic conditions 
as well as from enemies and predators to find suitable partners for reproduction. Movement in terrestrial that is land animals. Most terrestrial animals have two pairs of limbs. The front ones are called forelimbs while the rear ones are called hind limbs. Animals such as elephants, cows, camels, lions, tigers use their forelimbs as well as hind limbs for locomotion such as walking, running or climbing. Rabbits have very large muscular rear legs which they mostly use to escape from their predators. Their legs help them cover the ground in large hopping strides. Frogs also have very strong hind limbs which help them jump both higher and farther. Human beings only use their hind limbs for movement. Snakes do not have legs and therefore use their muscles and scales to push their body ahead. Movement in aerial that is airborne animals. Most birds fly by means of feathered wings. Their forelimbs are modified into wings. They have powerful breast muscles which help them fly in air. Their hind limbs help them to perch, hop, run and catch prey. Tails also help them direct the flight. Birds have a very light skeleton and fast digestion which favors flying. Bats also fly but their wings are actually the skin folds between the forelimb bones rather than feathered wings. Insects like butterflies, bees, etc. have thin membranes which help them fly. Movement in aquatic that is waterborne animals. Fish are an excellent example of adaptation in animals. Their streamlined body helps them swim in water. Their fins help to move balance and change direction as they move through the water. Many amphibians and ducks have webbed feet since they help them as oars or pedals when they are in the water or to walk on the soft wet mud when they are on the land close to the water body. Penguins that is aquatic flightless birds as well as sea turtles have their forelimbs in the form of flippers which help them swim in water. Migration Though animals mostly live in their natural habitat, there are some that move over large distances in search of food or water to reproduce or in search of better weather conditions. Such movement of animals in a group is called migration. Birds Mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish and even insects migrate. Deer, elk, moose, bighorn sheep and pronghorn are examples of mammals that migrate. Gopher snakes, rattlesnakes and other snakes migrate to dense sites in the fall. Many kinds of animals migrate including bats, birds. Lesser flamingos, a kind of flamingo 
from other parts of India migrate to Suri in Mumbai from October to March every year. These birds fly in from the run of Kutch, though some are said to come in even from Siberia.